Think about what you'll experience in the next five years. A graduation, an important wedding, the birth of a child or grandchild, or maybe even settling down for retirement. Now what if I told you you could actually predict a heart attack or cardiac event in the next five years? Seems impossible, right? Not any longer. Today in For Your Health, we meet with Douglas Harrington, MD of Irvine, California, the innovator of Pulse Cardiac Test, an incredible breakthrough in medical technology that is literally sweeping the nation and beyond. The Pulse Test is shown to save lives by detecting the risk of America's number one killer, heart attacks, for up to five years. The Pulse Cardiac Test, an innovative technology that identifies patients at risk of heart attacks who would otherwise be missed by conventional testing methods, is a simple blood test that assesses a person's risk of suffering from a future cardiac event. The ability to identify underlying silent cardiac disease and predict the likelihood of a cardiac event is crucial in preserving the health of a patient, especially those that aren't showing any symptoms. For the longest time, uh, there's been a, a huge focus on lipids, cholesterol specifically. Uh, the majority of people who have a heart attack have normal lipids. 50% of people who have a heart attack have never had any symptoms either, or they also have normal cholesterol levels. And uh, so you get a false sense of security. One of the most important facts is that heart disease after 50 years is still the number one killer, not just in the United States, but worldwide. The biggest difficulty is doctors underestimate the risk of people two-thirds of the time. There's two large international studies that showed that. They, they think that somebody that's thin and says they eat well and does everything right, that they can't have heart disease. And, and the opposite is true. So even someone like me? Absolutely. My favorite people to talk to are the people who are health fanatics. They are exercising hours a day, they eat everything, they take supplements, and it turns out that there's a certain type of personality that's associated with a lot of stress, and a lot of these people put stress on themselves to be healthy, and that turns out to be unhealthy. You don't know what things have affected your body, and it's silent until you're either dead or you've had a heart attack. So for us, the biggest challenge was to figure out a way to find you or somebody like you that looks healthy and actually has heart disease before they actually develop the full-blown disease or die of a heart attack. And that's really what drove us to develop the pulse cardiac test. Tell us, Dr. Harrington, how did the pulse test come about? Most of the tests that are currently used to evaluate heart disease, unless they're direct measurements using a catheter or, or radiation, are really correlating with heart disease, but they don't actually detect that you have it. The pulse cardiac test is actually measuring those signals that go to your immune system, and it does two things. Number one, it makes the pulse cardiac test diagnostic, because we are telling you that, yes, you have some injury to your arteries, and then what it does is it uses that same information to determine what your actual residual risk is, and then we use that same information to predict your risk of having a heart attack in a five-year period. In a society where self-health care is taking shape due to high insurance costs and the advances in technology, the pulse cardiac test seems like a starting point for saving money, but more importantly, saving lives. If you have a heart attack, one out of 19 people is going to die initially because we're very good at keeping you alive. Okay, the other people that survive though, number one, it's a huge cost. On average, an uncomplicated MI is about a million dollars. The actual cost of hospitalization is even higher if it's a complicated MI. But the real problem is that if you survive the heart attack, in about two years, half those people will be permanently disabled and not able to support their family and will be a burden on their family. If you could prevent that, why would you not want to do that? Why put your head in the sand? You can do something about it. There are numerous interventions that allow us to minimize that risk if we know you have it. Why wouldn't each and every medical practice want to offer this test? It's quick, it's affordable, and it could potentially save so many lives. To be honest with you, each and every practice should be offering the test because it is affordable, it's easy to do, and it's a simple blood draw and it gives them information that's actionable and they don't get right now. So the bottom line is, yes, we want everybody to be using this that's a healthcare provider. I want the pulse test. How do I go about it? The easiest way to get the pulse cardiac test is for you to go to your own physician or healthcare provider and request it. You request the pulse cardiac test. And if they're not familiar with it, 
Please make them aware of the Pulse Cardiac Test website and there's a wealth of information there. They can even order the test components online at that spot. Dr. Harrington has been featured on television and the news from coast to coast with his groundbreaking technology. Home and Lifestyle TV will continue to cover the Pulse Cardiac Test as well as stories from those who've been helped by it. Keep a pulse on them by going to homeandlifestyletv.com or our Facebook page where we'll have even more tips from Dr. Harrington. For your health, I'm Lisa Hart with Home and Lifestyle TV.